Hey, what's up guys? This is Guy here with KB Trainings. Welcome to this new video where I'm going to show you my video surveillance system. So I have Unify Protect installed in my new home. We're going to talk about it. What is Unify Protect? What are the different components of Unify Protect? and what I think about the cameras and what is my experience so far because I have seven of those cameras already installed. So I'm going to um, tell you what I think about each of them and it will give you some of my opinion as well. This is the, the network that I'm trying to build or that I've been building with you here. I show you how I did the firewall, which is the 40 gate. I did the switch, the access point. So today I'm doing the cameras. These were just staying there waiting for me to make a video about them so I can unbox them with you together. If you enjoy what I do, please like the video. It's very simple, it's free. Just go and click on like on this video. That's very helpful for me. And if you are a tech professional or if you are a future professional or if you just like technology, make sure you subscribe to this channel because I share with you a lot of IT projects that I do for myself or for my studies because KB trainings I go from zero to engineer. So why Unify Protect? I choose Unify Protect because of course I've been using Unify equipment in my home network and I think that Unify Protect brings a lot of value. I've worked for managed service providers where we've been using Cisco Meraki cameras. They are good, those cameras are pretty good but they are also very expensive. If you compare to Unify and what you get with Unify, it's really worth it for a small business or I mean any type of business or for your home network and if for example we look at the cameras from Cisco these are um, the MSRP for Cisco cameras here you can see we have like 950 760 uh, almost 1200 dollars here and these are expensive on top of the cameras you also need to pay for licenses but with Unify Protect, you don't need licenses. You just buy the cameras, you buy the, 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 the whatever system you have to, to install, and that's it. When the house was being built, I made sure that I have cables everywhere I need to plug in something. So I already have cables running everywhere I needed to plug in cameras. And Unify Protect, on top of the PoE cameras that you have, you also have some cameras that are wireless. So you can add as many cameras as you need for a very affordable price. Here we can see the different cameras that Unify uh, Protect offers. These are, these are good. This one, for example, is $29. This is a steal. Right now it's sold out because people buy them a lot. Um, but I was able to get three of them and um, I have them installed or I'm going to have them installed. Right now I use one in the garage. Uh, let me show you. Uh, as I said, I have seven of them already installed. This is my front porch. This is my back patio and uh, I have the garage here so we can see everything inside the garage. This is the Unify um, G3 instant that is installed there. So what are the different components of Unify Protect? First of all, you need to have a server application running somewhere. For me, I use the Unify Cloud Key to run my Unify Protect server. You can install it on a Windows computer or if you have a UDM Pro, you can also run it on a, uh, on a UDM Pro. I made a video about the Unify Cloud Key, so if you haven't watched the video, it's here on this channel. And beside the server application, you also need a client application. The client can be an application on your phone. Unify Protect is an application that you can run from your phone and you can see the, the images from your cameras. You can configure the cameras. You can do pretty much anything on the, the cameras and the system itself. And you have the option to enable remote access so you can see your footage from anywhere in the world with the motion sensors that are inside these cameras. If there is someone in front of your camera, you will receive a notification and you can take a look and see who's there. You can also access Unify Protect from your server's IP address. So you just go on a web browser, you open the IP address and you'll be able to see it. So today I'm going to do the unboxing of these different cameras that I have here. So this is the Unify G3 Flex. I'm not sure, but this looks like a NAN. This is the Unify G3 Instant. I'm going to unbox it in front of you here. This is the Unify G4 Bullet and this is the G3 Bullet and this is the G4 Dome. All right, so the first camera that we're going to unbox today is the Unify G3 Instant. This is a very small wireless camera that you can place pretty much anywhere. You have Wi-Fi coverage and at $29, this is um, a steal. All right, so this is the camera itself. As you can see, it's very small, it fits in my hand. You also have this adapter. If you also have a, 
a USB-C cable to connect to the camera for power. You also have this different mounting system that you can use to mount the camera to a wall or wherever you want to mount it. So what I like about this camera, it's very small. It's wireless and I also like the wide angle it has. So you see a lot with this uh, small camera. This is the garage. A single camera can cover a three-car garage from pretty much end to end and you see a lot of things here. And you also have two ways audio. So you can listen to what the camera is picking up you can also talk through this camera, which is very good. However, I don't like the quality of the speaker here, which is normal because it's a very small speaker. So sometimes when you talk through it, it doesn't sound very audible, but it's still good. The microphone as well doesn't really pick up all the sounds clearly, but that's what you get for $29. To adopt this camera, you just need to use your Unify Protect app. You can detect the camera and add it to your wireless network, and you can then add it to your Unify Protect list of devices. So let's go to the next camera. The next camera is the Unify G3 Flex. This is also a beautiful camera. For $79, you get some beautiful features from this camera. So you have a micro Phone, which is good picks up sound very well you also have a camera that you can install indoors or outdoors and if you want to install it outdoors it's very recommended to have this uh, protector that you can install on your camera to protect it against weather and all kind of things so it's also pretty cool I have two of them here for my two cameras that I have what I like about this uh, beside the microphone I also like the image quality it's good um, what I don't like is the small angle that you have with your images. It, it has very small angle uh, compared to the Unify G3 Instant. But for 79 it's still good, depending on your budget. You can get these and install them everywhere, or you can go for something better. The next camera is the Unify G3 Bullet. Let's unbox it. The G3 Bullet is a beautiful camera as well, the kind of camera that you can put outside, it's very strong, it can withstand all kind of weather and it gives you beautiful image as well. So this one what I like about it is the solidity of the camera. You also have clear image at night as well. The only thing that I really don't like about this camera is the small angle. It's still good but when you compare it to the G3 Instant for example, this one is a small angle and it might be a problem for some applications. It goes for $149 on the Unify website and I'm going to show you the big brother to the Unify uh, G3 Bullet and that one is also something that you can get for $50 more. The next camera is the Unify G4 Bullet. Let's unbox it. All right, so this is the G4 Bullet, which is uh, very good. Uh, compared to the G3, it's heavier than the G3, and it also has more intelligence. You have smart detection on the G4 series of cameras. So this one, instead of sending you notification every time there's something moving, like on the G3 Bullet, you just have motion detection here. But on the G4, on top of motion detection, you also have smart detection. So it's going to send you notification if it sees a car or a human passing or standing in front of the camera. Those are the kind of features, or cool features that you get with the G4 that you don't have in the G3. But for a $50 difference, I would encourage you to go for the G4 if you wanna buy. So you, you can get some G3s even used for a good price, but if you can go with the G4, that's encouraged. And from what I heard, this is plastic. Uh, but what you have on the Unify G4 is aluminum. Um, I'm not sure about that, something to verify, but it's definitely the next generation. Right now I have like five of them that I bought, uh, maybe four, yeah, four or five. They go for $199 on Unify's website. So now I'm going to show you my favorite camera. This one is what I want pretty much to install everywhere. If I can. This is the Unify G4 Dome. I'm going to tell you more about it. Let's unbox it.
What I like about this camera is, first of all, the sound. You have two microphones here. Um, it picks up the sound very well. You also have a speaker here, so you can talk to anybody in front of your camera, and the sound is very decent. You can also mount it on the ceiling or on the wall, and the angle is wide on this camera compared to the G4 Bullet, so you have more in, the, in a single image. What I don't like about it is the IR at night. Sometimes you get some noise and some spill. Like in this case here, this is my back patio. You can clearly see that the light is, I mean, the, the IR or the, the infrared is really, really noticeable right here. And you don't see much when you go far. Um, this is not something you have with the, the Unify bullet, for example. This is the bullet. This is the front. You can see that it's very much, I don't know, this is a web or something. Yeah, with a bullet, you have clear image pretty much everywhere. That's not preventing this to be my favorite camera that I can recommend to, to everybody. All right, so these are the different cameras that I have. The Unify G4 Dome, the Unify G4 Bullet, the G3 Bullet, the G3 Flex, and the G3 Instant. So I'm going to now show you how I adopt a camera on my Unify Protect system, and I'll show you the different options that you can have inside Unify Protect. So what I did first is that I added the, the device to my firewall because it's going to be part of my main network, which is secured. So I have to add manually the MAC address of the camera to the firewall so that when I connect the camera, it's going to get an IP address and will be supported without any problem. So now I'm going to um, go back here and we'll connect it and wait for it to come up. All right, so when I connect the cable, the PoE cable to the camera, you can see here it's booting up. And um, when it's ready, we should see a notification on this screen here. So let's give it a moment. All right, so that's the, the camera booting up. We should have a notification here soon. Here we go. So I have to click on add to bring or to adapt this camera in my system. And when I click on add, it's giving me the option to change the name of the camera. This one will be um, in front of my garage, so I'm just going to name it Front Garage 1 because I have two of them in front of the garage. And after that, I click on Add Devices and it's going to be added along with the other devices. So now it needs to do an upgrade, I mean an update. So I'm going to give it a moment to finish the update and we're going to continue with this. Okay, so the G4 Dome has been updated. As you can see, it's now up. You can see the blue light right here. This is the image that we have from the camera. You can see this is on 720. It's, uh, it's set to auto right now. I can change this to 4MP, which is a uh, better resolution than the 720. And you can do pretty much everything here. You can uh, change different configurations on your camera, give it a name, change the microphone sensitivity, you can say if you want the status uh, sound on or off. You can change the status light here on or off. You can change the overlay information. By default, you have the Unify logo right here. Um, but me, I like to have the camera name and the time on the image, as you can see right there in the corner. Um, we, you can set up when you want to record, always, never, on motion events or on smart detection. You can also add a different configurations for motion events, uh, recording, as well as set up the smart detections for people and for vehicles. Here you can add a different zone, motion zone, if you want to select some specific zone on your camera where you want the motion to be activated or the motion is triggered every time there is something happening there. Or you can also set up the smart detection zone in your camera. You can also set up privacy zone if you are somewhere or if your camera is located somewhere where you get some images from some other private properties like from your neighbor. In just common sense, you're not supposed to be there seeing what your neighbor is doing in his backyard or in his driveway. So you can come here and add a privacy zone. Like for example, if I want to hide my face here, I can just come and create a new privacy zone and just leave it there and click on save. So this area is going to be blacked out in all my images. So I won't be able to see anything here. 
Um, I can also change the orientation of the image. Let's see, that's it's right here. So you can come here and click on orientation. Um, you can flip the image, like in this case, it's upside down. If I'm, I want to mount it like this or this way, you can come here and flip the image um, horizontally or vertically, right there. Uh, depends on how you mounted your camera. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like what I'm doing, please like the video. So if you're studying for the Cisco CCNA 200-301, check out the course that I have on kbturns.com. And uh, if you have any questions, send me an email. I'll be glad to respond or leave a comment below. Thank you for watching this, and I'll see you in the next video here on KB Trainings. Take care and bye.